and what is up guys Corvin here welcome back to the channel so um <laughs> took a small break for youtube and the game in total because i'm kind of busy um this also lands me in a weird position whereby i don't have access to the ptr server because where i am i am just using my phone yes pc completely gone but if you watch some of my previous videos you can realize you, can, you, you know this by now um i thought i'd make a different video to someone to how everyone is doing you know i'm sure you guys have um should you someone or like should you should you someone you chuan or <clears throat> or intersar should you r6 intersar should you r2 intersar but in this video i'm going for a different approach i'm gonna go for the top five reasons to someone for intersar to even think about summoning for intersar if you fall into these five five reasons hey i think you should pull it's pretty good and um half of these reasons are just meme reasons anyway <laughs> so i don't expect anyone to take them seriously but even if you don't take them seriously there's there's some seriousness in them let's get into it so the number five one is that number five the fifth reason that you should summon for intersar is that you are a whale and you're gonna summon anyway <laughs> Yeah, being a whale is pretty much easy. You're gonna summon for Yinchuan, Intersar, and the one after Intersar, and you're probably gonna R6 all of them. So, congratulations, you have a reason to summon for Intersar, do it, it's great. Number four is that Intersar is actually waifu, according to you. In fact, you are one of the 30% of people who voted for Intersar if that's the case if you think her art is great the story might be great the type of character that she is chocolate wife then then you can someone you know that comes at number four a little more important than just being a world because where will someone anyway waifu even free to place can be like you know what screw this shit i don't think anyone will look better than intersaw let me just someone for her Number three. Number three is slightly connected to number five, but not completely. And is that you are a collector. You would like to be someone who collects everyone. Right? So if in that case, I say someone, um, the wish stone stuff makes this thing become easy especially for collectors. What's great about this is that you don't even need to summon R2, you can just summon R0 right same thing as the waifu guys so the number four guys at waifu you just can summon r0 and then you have the p the jpeg on your phone you have the jpeg on your phone you win every time the collector as well you get r0 you move on you wait for the next one save your nexus crystal save your gold records and number two number two can be cups actually two to four can be coupled in together and that number two is that you just want to scratch the itch man you've been saving you skipped fatum sisters you skipped yun chuan you got that 3.1.7 gave you back a bunch of gold records a bunch of nexus crystals and you, you just had enough i say do it someone someone did yo you it is your it is your summer records i don't think there'll be any an event ever again i'm not sure maybe they're trying to drain us of all resources they're like tracking everyone's accounts to like make sure that everything is drained <laughs> before they take out the events but um you know another thing if they drop like an, a surprise event but you need to summon maybe maybe that is the time to summon but at number two is that you just want to scratch the itch you just want to summon you've been waiting way too long and you actually want to summon for new one instead you want a chance of the new five star that is number two at number one is that but by some reason you don't have Gaius yes so if you don't have Gaius I think she is a viable so like if you do not have Gaius or like an R2 Zora she might be very good for you because you can use her in many other places where Gaius is viable um a speed team for for Chronos 16 you can use her there in fact she's pretty good in Chronos 16 
defense break, attack break. She attacks a couple of times. She counters attacks. She has stealth. Pretty good. You can use her in Shadow Stream. She gains multiple attacks. You can put her on Astral Witchcraft, which gives her more turns. And yeah, just pretty, pretty good. And if she's R2, she will gain even more multiple attacks. So her R2, definitely better than R2 Gaius in Shadow Stream. You can even use her as your <clears throat> big damage one. So like the big damage in um sentinel hunt you can you can obviously do this you can it, she, she is great there now with how her damage works i don't think she works that great in towers because in towers you either want to stun or just like actually you just want to stun that's that's like towers because they're just too broken right this is where yun chuan works so great and has like viable debuffs she has an aoe attack break but it's like that's that's the least of your problems you know it's not something you're looking for per se if you want that just run your r6 gabriel so yeah it leaves her sort of kind of hanging but the number one reason you should summon for intersar is that you don't have a gaius you don't have out to zora and wherever you want a um a flow attuned dps she is a great substitute she really is awesome in um in like standard time but like like not like, not like a fast k16 team in like a standard k16 team she might be better than your than your than your guy is actually so like uh, as well as in shadow stream see i'm making her sound better than guys but we don't have guys i would say do it if you can't clear k k16 you know i say do it because k16 is the most important hunt you need it to go into the other hunts and those are my top five reasons you use summon for Intersar. Let's go through them again in summary. Number five, you're away, you don't care, you just want to have every aspect of six. Number four, this is your waifu, you've been saving for her all this time. She's finally here, so you do it. Number three, you are a collector. Screw it, you just want everything in RO, you don't even play PvP, you don't care. Number two, you just want to scratch that itch, man. It's, you've been holding your summons for forever. And at number one, the Gaius replacement is finally here. And that's it. Those are the top five. Thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. This is.